It all starts on the 19th of August, 1967. On this particular day, Pless and his crew are flying this helo, and he gets a very frantic request coming over his radio waves. An army helicopter pilot nearby has gone down, and he says, I'm all shot up, and I have a lot of wounded on board. And then there's a pause, and he says, I still have four men on the ground. Pless realizes that the position of these men is very close to him, and he gets permission to clear the medevac mission to go and help. And he sees about 30 to 50 Viet Cong coming out of the tree line and have made their way to these four soldiers. He immediately puts this Huey into a dive and comes screaming down to the deck. He lines up his Huey with this group of Viet Cong that are now in the landing zone and he fires both rocket pods at such close range that his windshield is actually sprayed by mud and debris. He sees the first injured army soldier and he flies over to where this injured soldier is and places his helicopter between the attacking Viet Cong and the injured soldier. He orders his gunnery sergeant Polson out of the back who goes and helps the injured soldier aboard. Pless notices the second injured soldier. He skillfully flies his aircraft over close to where the second downed soldier is. Gunnery Sergeant Polson again tries to drag the injured soldier over to the helicopter but realizes the man is too heavy. Pless, seeing this, orders his crew chief out to also help. They drag the second injured soldier and they also reach the third injured soldier. Another army aircraft that had been on the station retrieves the fourth soldier. Captain Pless now has an entirely different problem once he has these soldiers on board his aircraft. He is entirely overweight and he starts directing the Marines to throw out anything they don't need in the back of the aircraft. He flies back to his base and sets down. Legend has it that Pless had less than two minutes of fuel remaining 